and I wanted to just show you very quickly how I go about painting an eyeball. Bust cakes are becoming more and more popular. Increasingly, uh, more cake artists are taking them on. Um, so you always need to know how to knock out a good eye. So I thought I would show you my method for uh, painting um, a, gum base, a gum paste eyeball. So let's start. So what I've got here is I've got a rolled piece of uh, modelling paste and I use modelling paste because it dries nice and hard and firm and then when you're inserting your eyes into your cake you've got less chance of them getting squashed or distorted. So as well as your eye you're going to need a couple of fine brushes. You're going to need some petal dust. Now I'm going to paint a green eye today so I'm just going to go with green. You need some black. You're also going to need um, some food grade alcohol or rejuvenated spirit to mix that up with to make a paint. Um, and then I'm, I need two, um, two circles which I'm going to use as a, as, a, as a guide for my iris and my pupil. So I've just had a rummage through my cupboards and I've used, I've used a, a, a coupling uh, piece for a piping bag and a, and a nozzle because they've come to the right you know they look the right kind of size so let's get started we first of all I'm going to take the bigger circle that I have and I'm just going to press that centrally a little firmer I'm going to press that centrally onto my eyeball and it's quite faint but it just gives me a guideline then I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the small end of this piping nozzle in the centre, which is obviously where my pupil's going to go. As I say, that just gives me a guide when I come to paint. So, don't need those anymore. I'm just going to pop a little bit of alcohol into my palette. And I'm just going to use one colour, one green. I mean, obviously, if you want to get um, if you want to get fancy, you can throw in some colours of uh, some brown or yellow if you want to do hazel eyes. But just to start with, the one colour is fine, and you'll see because we're going to graduate it and intensify the depth. So what I want to do is I'm just going to paint to the edge. Of that outer circle. I'm just going to go for a light wash to begin with, but we will build this up. I'm just going to go back in and just intensify that colour slightly. Now you could use um, gel paste instead of petal dust for this, mixed, mixed in to create paint. What I want to do is I just want to begin to intensify slightly the colour at the top of the eye. Because the eye is a sphere, the way that the light hits the eye, it sort of it, it comes in at the it comes in at the top, the eyelid creates a shadow, um, and what happens is that that creates the impression of the bottom of the eye reflecting more light. So if you look at an eye, you'll see that the colour is not, is not always um, equal. So I've got my, my basic green on there now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of water on my brush. And I'm going to start to just take away 
a little bit of this colour that I've put on, but only at the bottom. We want to create sort of an ombre effect, really. So darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. And you can see it's quite mottled, but that's, that's actually good. That effect is what we want. And I'm just using simple watercolours, watercolour brushes, sorry, for this. Okay. Now I'm going to go back in with a slightly finer brush, back into my paint mix. And I'm going to throw in a little bit of black into this green. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to add in a little bit more colour around the top. And I'm dabbing gently as I go. And if you need to blend a little more, just use the vodka or the rejuvenated spirit or lemon extract, whatever it is you're using. Just use that to help you blend your colours. Just put it on the brush neat without any other colour. So at this point, I'm just going to take a little black and I'm going to just paint in my pupil. using that circle that we made at the beginning as my guide. It's funny, isn't it, how the pupil goes in, it begins to... Suddenly you're like, oh yes, I can see it's an eye. Okay, and then with the same brush, Again loaded with black, I'm going to very, very carefully draw a black line around the edge of my eyeball. You can see you need a really fine brush for this. Use your little finger like I am to help stabilise you. And now what I want to do is I just want to carry on intensifying this darker colour at the top. So I'm now beginning to blend that black ever so slightly, don't want to overdo it, but just blend that in and just intensify the top part of that eye. Throw in a little bit more green. Now, obviously, you can do this with whatever colour you like. And as I said at the beginning, quite often green eyes do have elements of yellow or brown in them. But the principle is the same dark at the top and then becoming lighter as we see that light reflected at the bottom. Gonna neaten up, neaten up these edges slightly. There's your eye. 
Bible. Now, if you want to take it another step further, you could give it a lovely glossy sheen by either painting it once it's dry with confectioner's glaze, a couple of layers of confectioner's glaze, um, or you can dip it into some melted ice malt um, and that will give it a, a lovely glass sheen all the way, all the way around. And that's how I make my eyeballs. I hope you enjoyed that quick tip. 